Let's get funky. What's up, what's up? I'm Funky Fresh Bear. I left you guys a band screen up right there so you guys can see who we banned and who they picked. You can't see their bands because where my face cam is. And this season, or this split, we're gonna do a Road to Master split right here, man. Like all the cool kids do. I wanna let you guys know I'm main hunter, so you guys who play hunters will get to see the hunter perspective on the ranked joust right here. And let's get right into the game, man. I'm playing Nice. She's a pretty solid pick. Trelly, I put her in the A tier if you guys are familiar with Trelly. Sean, I picked up a Slay right there. I'm going up. Hopefully, catch this Odin. I mean, this is Kumba. Got the Kumba down. We're landing autos. He was trying to body block, but he's taking too much damage to stay. He has to go. Alright, then, we keep you guys up updated on what happened before. We got all three buffs, but they got first blood. I know that sounds crazy, but we were dominating early game with Odin. It's early pressure. And, um. So we got all the buffs, and then later they just caught Chonga a little extended, and they captured the Chonga for a kill. We went 6 and 4 in qualifiers, and I got put in gold too. We'll probably easily get the Masters. Right here, we're farming the blue buff. We're trying to over here getting some farm on the blue buff. Maybe trying to steal the minis off theirs. His triple ult it for the slay. My Odin goes in with the jump. His two of them. Throws down his cage. We're going to catch the Kumba. This passes down. Boom. Blowed up the weave. And then Cupid killed the Odin. So I'm just out. I'm out of here. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Made it out. Kumba's about to back off on the weave. I mean... <laughs> Well, I keep messing everybody's name up. Cupid backed up on the weave. Let's go. Team dead match. Slay, 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 baby, all day. You know what I'm saying? You're getting the extra poke on him. Heal up off the minions. I think you're going to ult. I'm asking if you want me to ult anybody. He didn't say anything, so I didn't ult. We thought there was no way I could save him. So I'm going to heal off the minion wave right here. Get the tower defense going. Throw some poke on whoever I can. Boom, caught all, I caught two of them. Boom, with that same one. Got the double kill, let's go. Needs clutch ba plays, baby. Call me Jesus, baby. Team deathmatch. All my subs now, y'all are in team deathmatch with me. Back flipping for the Kumba, I couldn't get him. He had to dash up and stuff. So I'm just gonna heal off the wave and push it. It was just in a 3v1 situation where they were pressing my tower. I got a double kill. And I'm about to take their tower now. That's how quickly things can turn, man. So don't ever give up, man. Especially when you play behind. For instance, it was a 6 to 12. We were down 6 kills. I got the double kill and their tower, though. Kept us in their clutch place. Kumba comes back. I backflip out. I'm going to the house. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking my money. I'm going to the house. And they don't catch me playing cards with those guys again. I missed the one. Still doing heavy damage on the autos with the Freya, though. Chonga rips the kill. And then right here I'm laying down shots. Never get mad at anybody kill stealing or kill securing. Deer just helping you, man. Who knows? You could have missed all 50 shots after that. So I never get heated at that. Cupid dashed away, so I just turn the focus onto the Kumba right here. Take him out. Get rid of his passive as well. No big deal. Then we're going straight for the the bull demon. Odin starts farm on it. Chunga's zoning a little bit on the Cupid. And I'm here. And Chunga's like, she's gonna come throw some heals on us. I asked Odin to drop the aggro to me, so he's running out. Drop the aggro to me, so. So we don't die. We're farming the Bull Demon. Boom, we take it. Making plays. It's now 10, 12. And we just got the Bull Demon. And we have a tower. I just finished Shifters. Right back to the next team fight. I'm hitting Kuma pretty hard. I want to ult the Freya, so it'll hit her when she comes down. But now Kuma got in the way, so I'm just going to shred Kuma since I have the Quins already. And we do just that, shred the Kuma. Odin jumps in on the Phoenix, because it's down from the BDK. I'm coming up, put some shots on these dudes. We drop the Freya, Cuba's still up. One well, I'm just going to take the I see that like, I'm not winning this initiation. He dashes, I, do, I backflip. So I heal and just poke the Phoenix. It's two on one, so we sort of want to try to end right here. 
But we end up overstaying our welcome. Because you'll see. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna overstay our welcome right here. I'm hitting 250 on the Titan though, man. Right, we could end this thing. The minions will just stop spawning in my face. And our minions will keep coming so we have somebody to tank it. The Kuma's back up. Frey got his four seconds. And we still hang around. I want to push it. Like the Titan is so weak at this moment. Well, like, all we have to do is just hit it. <laughs> That's all we have to do. It's like just hit it like two times. Well, there's no way I can hit it with all the minions spawning right there and those three guys up. Little body blocked it. I, I instinctively used Sanctuary thinking that Frey was going to hit me and I wanted to make it with enough health past those minions so the minions would body block for me. Which it worked out, but the cubic caught up to me and killed me, so that was a bad thing. And since we overstood our welcome, our Odin, I feel like our Odin's on tilt right here. And so he tries to fight on like 3v1, which is not a bad idea, but you know, your emotions block out your intelligence when you're on tilt. And they throw the cupid all, they have the Freya all. And they're gonna pick him up. Like he already knows it's a bad idea now when it's too late, but they're gonna pick up the kill on Odin right here. I hate to spoil it for you guys, but that's what it is. And I put this part in the game so you guys know what not to do. You should never fight staggered. Just like in Paladins, you should never fight three on one or one on five, because then next thing you know, when your team is forced to fight, you are stuck in a three v one situation. Or like right now, if I spawn, he's me and Chong are stuck in a two v one situation to defend our tower. I mean, two v three situation to defend the tower, which is not good. Chong is like she's gonna go all in the Titan right now. Well, I tell her, that's good. I want to defend the turret right here. There's two guys on the turret, so at most you have Freya right there. If you just do your AoE moves, spam them on Freya and the Titan, you should be able to take it. And she has ult up and stuff. But she died. Used her ultimate and everything, she still didn't get the Titan. So that wasn't any good at all. I think Chunga did that at a tilt at the same time, like it was a bad decision making, like we should have went like two of us or something, but there's still three of them, like really at this point we should have just grouped up and pushed for the game. Not all this, I'm going to pull a Kobe on you status, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so this is what you should do, you know what I'm saying, when you're waiting on team is fun. You farm the buffs that are available, sit under tower, kill the minions that come to you. And then make a group effort and a group push to end the game. But Odin gets caught out right here again. You guys, you can see on the mini map while I'm farming red. This fool is getting caught out by the Freya, so he's getting hella slow. He used his cage to try to get away. He should have caught him to the fire minions probably and to me. But maybe he didn't want to pull him to me because he thought I would die as well. <laughs> 